Hello everybody and welcome back to Purbeck. Look at that beautiful sunrise once again. And I just love the shadow that's being cast by this cow. With all those muddy footprints. It just looks so realistic. So I would love just to stand and stare at the cows all day, but we will have something to do. I don't know exactly what. Um, probably looking after the cows actually. That one's sifting through all the mud. All that slop. Anyway, yes, um, they are busy consuming their food and their water, but actually, yeah, they don't really need much attention at all. Uh, their health is at 100%, so I don't even need to give them straw. Basically, I said that if they don't reach 100% health, it's probably because I haven't given them straw. But as it turns out, they've reached 100% anyway, so we don't need to give them any. Uh, the straw would be solely to produce solid manure, and we're going to be going with that. The slurry. We currently have 7,000 litres, I think maybe even 7,500, so we can spread another full tanker load this month, 7,355, but it'll be later in this month, still this episode. First, I'm hoping the price for straw is at its best, 141. Okay, so it looks like January actually is going to be the best time this year, but it is still really good, but really we should be waiting until... The end of December? Oh, I should probably get that trailer shifted. <laughs> it's still in the middle of the road. Luckily, there's no traffic. So, yeah, this is the thing about winter. If the cows are happy, then there's really nothing for us to do. I suppose it would make sense to go and get one tanker load of water to keep them topped up. So if I just drop this off here, I'll take off the weight as well. Then I can move the trailer. Where to keep it? I don't know. Oh, look at that. Bunker silo is done fermenting. I was just about to say, I wonder if the uh, silo is almost finished. I wonder what the price is like for silage. December might end up being super busy, after me initially thinking there's nothing to do. If the price for silage is at its best, then basically we'll be selling most of that pit. We'll be keeping enough to feed the cows with. Um, but yeah, we have over 200,000 litres of silage there. Let us take a look. Uh, January is the best time, not February. Actually, no, February kind of is. Yes, it is just about. Five, six, seven. Um, five, six, four. Wow, I think actually it's going to peak before then, which you just tend to do. So it looks like, indeed, we're going to be selling as soon as possible. Luckily we do have the big trailer, but we don't have a telehandler, and we don't have much money, so we need to sell the bells first. That is a priority. Um, yeah, there's not going to be much of a, a price difference, I don't think, between now and the end of the month for straw. Or for silage, for that matter. But we will just pass a bit of time by getting a bowser of water first. So I'll see you over there. Good to keep on top of them. We really don't want them to run out of water. Because we will lose milk production and slurry production. Both of which are incredibly important. The milk for money and the slurry for fertilizer. Indirectly for money as well. Right then, let's go. Come on tractor, you can do it. I usually use the John Deere. I suppose it doesn't help that I'm driving into a bush. And that should be plenty. So we do need that flatbed trailer after all. So we can transport the bales. We might want to keep some of them. We don't need to sell all of them. So if there's too much for the trailer, for example, then we won't try and cram them on. We'll just bring them back. But I might bring back a full pallet forkload anyway. that trigger. There it is. I don't expect them to take all of this. Okay, you did. <laughs> They've taken all of it. Uh, good job I brought a load then. Keeping them all topped up and Tosmix ration can be done next month. 
they have loads. So they're now very busy producing their milk and their slurry. Soon we can sell some more milk. But now we must focus on actually getting some money back into the bank account. So we do need to keep the rear weight on, ideally. Uh, but we also need to go and get the front loader. Very important that we have the front loader. I have lost it. Here it is. So we'll stick that flatbed onto the John Deere. Let's head to the field. And it isn't raining, which is nice because it means we're not going to be slipping and sliding. It will be very muddy if it was raining. But actually, if it's going to do anything, it's going to be snow. It would be nice to have some snow. Wow, we do have a lot of bales here. Uh, so into the John Deere. Oh, we actually have some in the mixer still. There we go, cows. Give you a quick top up. Will that be enough to fill their capacity? No. But very close. I'll give them some space. So we'll just drop this here. We better close the gate behind us. And we can attach to the trailer. Now for us to be able to move that silage, we are going to have to either rent a telehandler or buy a grab for the front loader. Obviously buying the grab for the front loader or even renting the grab for the front loader is the best option financially, but it will be quite slow I think. We don't really have anything high capacity. Yeah. It's not really, uh, well let's just see, if we were to go with the bucket it would be a thousand litres. If we went with this bucket, which is pretty expensive, 2,300. So that's our peak, I believe. If we went with a telehandler, oh it's snowing. We could boost that to 2,600, but that's very similar to the other expensive bucket though. Um, there might be, yeah that's it. There may be some mods though, lovely snow. loading bales in the snow. I don't know if the mud mod is programmed to make mud with snow. No it isn't, clearly, because <laughs> when it's raining you sink straight in. Okay, this is going to be fun. Trying to retrieve bales from up here without dropping them. It's good practice for me. Okay, load number one. We're going to go three high, we'll fill the trailer three high. Anything left can go into our shed. Because we're not desperate to sell it. We're just selling one load to try and increase our bank account balance. Whoops, I probably should have done that top one first. It is coming down, blimey, look at this. It's snowing heavily. And I can go behind the trailer and push these further up once we have more on board. Um, I might have to just pick up this bell so we can get closer. I put that up here. Or not, no, that's not a good idea. Put that there. We need to better reach three. Okay, I think we're out of the woods. We're not going to drop any now, I hope. <laughs> I know it's dangerous saying that, but those top ones were the precarious looking ones. So let's load the trailer. Probably would squeeze on to the end. 
but it'd be good to have them. The trailer looks nice and full. So we'll come back in a second, we'll strap them on. The snow stopped too. Just a passing snow shower. With no snow cover. Which in a way is a shame, but at the same time it might make it difficult to spread slurry. Okay. Yeah, so these bells, the straw bells are only for padding out Totemex ration, not for bedding. So we're not going to consume much. Let's just pop this here. So let's throw a few straps over these bales. That should be okay. And we'll have a look and see where the best place is for straw. 143. Okay, so where is that place exactly? Over here. Right, I know exactly where to go. But it's a little bit twisty. So we'll have to be careful. It's also a really bad turn. <laughs> Got to turn right out of here. Okay, off we go. So it looks like we have 123,750 litres. That's a lot. This should bring in a few thousand pounds. Some very nice properties around here. Here we go. Oh, that's pretty good. Just short of £18,000. So, that means that we can rent a telehandler. Uh, maybe, maybe more cost effective to rent a wheel loader because we do have a serious amount of silage. Let's just take a look and see. Oh yeah, of course we've got that, but it doesn't have a big bucket. It only has a small bucket from Platinum Edition. Uh, I'm not thinking like this sort of size. It would be lovely. But no, I'm actually just thinking of the smallest. How much would that be? Mm, not, not too much at all, actually. We could easily use this, scoop up loads, and get it sold. So if we were looking at wheel loaders, we could actually go with this silage fork, which is 8,000 litres, the capacity. Uh, I think, yeah, the Volvo goes even bigger, 10,000. But that's really pushing it for that little thing, that little class. So we would have to go with the 8. Even 8 actually is uh, really big. It's huge. So it looks like we're going to be selling the silage today. Let's just slow the time down. Uh, we don't want it to be dark before we even start. I'll put this back down here, where it came from. And there is no rush to do the slurry today, we don't have to. The longer we wait, the more we get. I think the priority is now to get the money in and to try and repay that loan, because we still have a really big loan, thanks to the Combine. Um, I've actually teleported to the inside of this bunker wall. How unusual. Okay. <laughs> uh, actually, it'd be good to have the uh, class wheel loader anyway, because we have a class tractor. It can be a matching brand. I wonder how far it is to cart to the cell points. Let's pull that out of there first of all. And we'll have a proper look into silage. Ah, it has peaked. So biogas is actually three pounds more than the place we just went to. I guess we can take it to biogas. Like we'd have to own it, do we? Oh, they're so close. 
They're in the same complex. Okay, well, the sooner the better. The price is now decreasing, which has come much earlier than expected. So at least the less expensive part of it first. <laughs> and now for the big one. Let's go and pick up our purchase. Look at that. Yes, actually we do like class because we have the class combine as well. Now I hope that this machine isn't going to just do a huge wheelie. Because, yeah, although this does fit, it doesn't mean that it can actually lift a fully loaded buck rake. We, we can just hope for the best. Really, I, I think it should do. It's got a big weight on the back. I, I think this rear bump, what looks like a rear bumper is actually a big weight. Yellow van. Ah. Also known as road blocker. You buffoon. What are you parking there for? <laughs> oh dear. have to jump out and pull the cover off. Right. It's open. 205,047 litres. This is going to be an interesting test. I really want to see how well this wheel loader performs. I think it'll lift it fine, but then lifting it up above the cab into the trailer it's going to do wheelie. Really. But we'll see. I need to be as careful as possible in these controls. Uh, pretty good. It's a bit light, but yep, yeah, very good. I suppose the reach, the actual reach is going to be the limitation. But if it's fully over, it's fine. It's very good. Really good. Impressively good. Money well spent. Imagine if we were just using a bucket on the tractor. That would be a 1,000 litre capacity. We're doing eight bucket loads with the tractor in one go with this. I love it. So good. So that trailer is going to be full in no time at all. But at least we can finally start to bring in some substantial money. And this is Maysage. As I mentioned in the previous episode, when I start Court Farms, the series on there, um, yeah, I'm going to try and use Maze Plus. It's something I'm still learning about. I've used it in the past, but it's been a long time, a very long time. But it'd be so nice, because then we'll have, well, we can differentiate the silage. It won't just be generic silage. We'll have grass silage, we'll have maize silage, and then there's another one as well. I forget the third one. Three types of silage though. And also you can, uh, well it changes the feeding system for the animals. So it'll make that more interesting as well. Are we full? We look like we are. It might take a bit more. At least we already have a big trailer. Okay, it took 25% of that bucket load. So we'll just leave this here. And we'll get going. Let's make our way to the cell point. We do have flickering textures. Next month all the leaves will have gone. So that won't be a problem. Right, so just here we should be able to sell. I guess that would be the limitation of the BGA. It's going to have a... Well, it's got a set capacity so you've got to wait for it to process. So we probably can't bring all of it here, but that isn't filling up too quickly, and it's always going to be going down. 
but anything else can go to that sell point across there. It's a very similar price. They might even match each other. So let's now get back to the yard and we will load up the next trailer load and get that sold. Ah oh, yeah, so it's working like that. We basically own the production, so there it is, which means it is going to be outputting digestate, which we can spread on the land. We should be able to have that, I guess. So we'll activate the silage, and the money should start to come in. It's not just like a bulk load. If we took it to the other cell point, just over there, we would get a lump sum. So maybe it is worth doing that too, once it's full. At least doing it this way, we get digestate as well. Well, I think what we're going to do is two trail loads into the BGA and two into the other cell point. So the two are done in the BGA that can now process over time. Should do anyway. Let me just... Well, actually no, when we've sold this I'll increase the rate of time just to make sure it's processing, it's going to sell. But I reckon this is going to be the final buck rake load. We should be left with about uh, well, 75%. Should take 25%. Yep. So we'll head off once again. And this time, yeah, we're actually going to get a nice big lump sum, which will be very nice to see. But that wheel loader has just been so handy. So we'll be selling four loads in total, which actually will still leave us with quite a substantial amount, but as I said, we do need to keep some. So I don't want to just get rid of all of it. Yep, so this is the sub point. It should come up. It should say start overloading. There we go. And now we watch the bank account. I'm hoping for great things. Very nice. And we got all of this from just two maize fields. One of them was tiny. Almost £20,000. I wonder what the price difference is now. It's going to probably change. 583, 581. There is only £2 difference. So, yeah, we'll keep going. We'll keep taking it to uh, the straw and hay cell point. I guess you should say the straw silage and hay cell point. <laughs> yep, it's taking more than what it's supposed to. I've just had a quick look at the forecast. And it's going to be a very cold night with lots of snow. So there is a possibility that the next episode is going to be all in deep snow. I would like that though. It would be a nice change.
to have a bit of snow. Right, okay, so last load of today. I think we're going to keep the wheel loader on the farm for the next episode or two. Uh, I'm sure the hourly and daily fee is not very high, especially the daily fee. The hourly fee can be quite pricey. I guess the reason why is because, yeah, the daily fee just shows that you still have it, but the hourly fee shows that you're really using it. So, yeah, with more use comes more expense. I wonder how much we will have left in the pit. I've not really been calculating it. I would have a guess at about... Um, uh, probably about 100... Yeah, 100,000... No, 75,000 litres. Somewhere between 75 and 100,000, I would say. That is just a rough guess. We'll soon find out. And now for the final bit, that should be plenty. Well, I've got exactly 3,000 litres on here. But I think that's more than enough. It'll probably only take about 1,000 litres. Pretty much. Does it allow you to tip this back? Should do. Yep, okay, so we have left in the pit 69,000. So I was a little high with my guess, but that's a good figure. Uh, I think, yeah, we don't want to be just getting rid of all of it. That would be unwise. But what, like I said, when we've sold this, we can then check and see that the other one is actually processing. We should see digest date appear, and we should see money appear in the bank account, because it will be selling it as... Um, biogas okay let's get tipping Yeah, the price obviously is decreasing, so maybe when it's finished selling everything that we have in the BGA, the price might be right down, so that's why I don't really like to put it all into there. Although I suppose it wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't be taking, it wouldn't be taking the silage price, would it? It would be taking the biogas price. I had a good think about that when I said it a minute ago. Um, but yeah, the output would be digestate, and biogas. Yeah, I guess so. Well, we'll see this occur. We now have fifty-two thousand pounds in the bank. It must be hourly, so let's just put this to times sixty. Get to three o'clock. Yeah, it did increase. Let's go again. Yeah, it's increasing quite rapidly actually. Yeah, very nice. So we'll keep that processing. We already have 1,800 litres of digestate. So it's a good place to finish. I don't think it would have even taken another full load. So it's a good job I took it to the other place. I think it's been a successful episode. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.